Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. In today's video, I wanted to share with you some DIY charcuterie board ideas for both sweet and savory options. In particular, if you're looking to create a vegan charcuterie board and you want some vegetarian options, some plant-based options, and even some gluten-free options. And like I said, we're gonna do some sweet and savory additions to this DIY charcuterie board. So let's go ahead and get started. One thing I think makes a great snack option on here are some nuts. So I do have some cashews I'm going to go ahead and add along with some pistachios. These are two that we really enjoy. Pecans or walnuts would be great. Now I found these organic power snacks and I thought these just looked super good. So I think I actually got them in Whole Foods. I'm, it was either on Amazon or in Whole Foods. So there's something that I ordered and they just taste really good. They have some cocoa in them, some goji berries, and just like some other superfood ingredients. So they're like a nice, healthy, yummy snack. These crunchy chickpeas are Korean barbecue flavor. So they have a little bit of spice to them, but they just make a really yummy, nutritious, crunchy snack that is packed with tons of flavor. Here we have a Kalamata spread. I also got this in Whole Foods. This looks really good. I think it's going to be really nice on some crackers. And I'm going to use one of these little egg cups just as a tiny little serving container. Oh, this doesn't look good, but hopefully it's going to taste good. So I picked up some of these crackers. We really like these and they're almond flour. So these are gluten-free. They're also vegan. The rosemary and sea salt flavor is my favorite one. So I'm definitely gonna add some onto my little charcuterie board here and hoping that these will be a nice mix with this Kalamata spread. The last thing I'm gonna add is gonna be things like fruit because I don't want it to sit out too long. So while I'm building this, I'm gonna just kind of start with the dry ingredients first. It's really smooth texture wise and it tastes like Kalamata olives. So you can really control um, you know, the, how strong it is just by adding a little less or a little bit more. The ingredients in here are Kalamata olives with red wine vinegar, garlic powder, capers, oregano, salt, citric acid. So pretty simple. I think this is tasty. If you like Kalamata olives at all, you're gonna love this. I got a fig spread that might be good on here, but I'm gonna wait and see exactly what I put on the board and how much room I have left. Had to go with an olive salad. I thought this would be a nice touch. I don't actually know how you eat olive salad, so let me know if you have tips on like how if you just eat this with a fork. I was kind of thinking I might also put this on top of the crackers. I think it'll be good that way. I bet it would be really good with some like pita chips or just like pieces of pita broken up. That would probably be so good on here. I think I'm gonna just do another um, little white bowl here and try to keep all the same shape. I don't know, that's just my thoughts here. I've got a round one here, so rather than doing a square one here, I think I'm just gonna go with like round containers, try to make everything coordinate. I like knowing what I'm serving my guests, making sure it actually tastes good. Mm. That is good. That's got so many flavors working in there. Okay, so they say that this is a good sandwich or pasta topper, packed with cauliflower, carrots, peppers, pepperoncini, capers, and olives. This is really tasty. I think trying to create a vegan charcuterie board, we have to be a little bit more creative. We don't, we aren't doing meats and cheeses on here, so I wanted to get a little more creative and just have some fun here with some extra fun, creative toppings and bringing lots of flavors. And a great way to do that is with things with olives, garlic, and of course, lots of fruit options as well. Mike and I both like these garlic stuffed olives. I know my dad does as well. I always bang the lid on the counter a little bit to like make it a little easier to open. These are some really big stuffed olives. Wow. 
All right, I really want to try one now. Mm. These are so good. I'm always impressed that the garlic is not too strong. Like it just tastes really, really good. Despite the fact that there's like a big chunk of garlic in there, it's so tasty. I think this makes a great addition to a charcuterie board. Now before I finish up the savory board, I'm going to begin working over here on our sweet board. So I've got lots of fruits to put out on our vegan sweets charcuterie board. I do have some other more sugary type desserts, but I'm going to keep this mostly with natural type sweets. Grapes, especially green grapes, if you're doing this around the holidays, it's a great way to add some green onto a charcuterie board and plus i just feel like the green looks so nice because it just complements the colors like the bright orange with the orange slices and also the bright pink with this dragon fruit that i'm slicing up i also sliced up a kiwi to add on here so basically it's really easy so people can just take off slices of the fruit and put it on their plate so it's kind of turning all of the fruits into finger food i'm going to also cut up a pomegranate those are in season in the fall and winter months here so we enjoy having pomegranate from time to time it's one of my daughter's favorite fruits so we're going to add some slices of those on here adding in some dates which are just so yummy and sweet and perfect for adding in just an extra sweet touch for a sweeter themed charcuterie board so one thing i added up in the front here are these get back to human snacking and baking dark chocolate gems these are vegan organic paleo they have no refined sugar or cane sugar no dairy another thing i picked up are these gummy stars from whole foods these are also gluten-free low sodium and vegan so while i'm building these boards i'm gonna move back over here now to my more savory board and we're going to add some olive bread so this is something i also picked up in whole foods and it's going to be great to add like our olive salad on top of i also have this one from trader joe's which is a grecian style eggplant with tomatoes and onions this is super tasty love this one it's great on crackers and it would be great on top of some bread so i may add that one i also have this artichoke tomato bruschetta spread and dip which I believe I got this one in Bay Y. I can't remember for sure where this one is from, but I'm thinking of adding one of these, maybe both. Another option that you could add would be some hummus. So we love roasted garlic hummus. I also really love roasted pine nut hummus by Sabra. That's one of my favorite ones, but Mike picked up the garlic one, which everyone enjoys. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my bread here a little bit on an angle just so that you can take half slices. I think that's gonna be a little bit easier when it comes to serving them. I want this to be a little bit more of like finger food and not so much of an entire sandwich. Plus I can put half on one side of the board and arrange half of it on the other side. I like the way they look with the cut side down. So you see the nice rounded edges here and they stick up really nice, so really easy and convenient to grab on here. Let me know down below which one of these looks better to you guys. What do you prefer? Would you go for the eggplant with tomato and onion or the artichoke tomato? Now don't be scared. This looks worse than it tastes. I know that it looks like a can of cat food or something, but I'm gonna cut it up because some of the eggplant is a little bit larger pieces, but this is actually a really tasty spread. I have always enjoyed it, so let me just give it a try, make sure it tastes the same. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really, really good. I think I need a legit spoon to scoop this up because you've actually got like some real chunkier pieces in here. 
This is really tasty. Mild Italian flavoring. They're very, it's very soft. Everything's cooked really well. So you don't get any of like, the skin is not tough. Like sometimes the eggplant skin can be tough, but it's not. I think it makes a great topping on some fresh Italian bread. It was really good on the cracker as well. So good, I can't wait to try it on the olive bread. I think that's gonna be really tasty. So we're gonna save our artichoke tomato bruschetta for another time, because I think I'm gonna have enough things on here for today. I'm gonna add this little spoon here to our kalamata. Can I add it? Maybe like that? You know what I really need is some small little serving things. I always end up just using what I have, but if you guys have any recommendations for a set that you really like, let me know where you found it because I would love to get like some smaller little serving things. So my mom gave me this one, which I guess is real silver because it's a little bit tarnished. And I, so I have this little tiny fork and then this little spreading thing also came with my set that my aunt got us this set when we got married. So I don't have any other little mini serving spreading utensils. I would love to get some. So let me know if you know of any really cute set or reasonably priced ones. Another great thing to add would be pickles. It might be a little tacky. I don't know, you guys let me know if you, if you would do this or not, but I think that this hummus looks so good arranged like this that I think I might just position the whole thing right on here like this and just go with it just because it looks so cute like that. And then we'll just put the olives on this side. I'm gonna add some tomatoes on here. This definitely makes it feel a little more Christmassy, adding a little pop of red. And I did scrub my zucchini down so that I could leave the skin on here just to add a little pop of green and red and green. Nice Christmas vibes. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed these vegan charcuterie board ideas and definitely comment and let me know if you've got any other suggestions for what to add on a charcuterie board. What would you add on yours? I love hearing more suggestions. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and thank you all so much for being here. I wish you a beautiful and blessed day and I will see you soon in the next one.